Hello and welcome to my tutorial on a parent's guide to Google Classroom. My name is Mrs. Bennett and I'd like to share with you some of the features and tools that your child will be able to use through Google Classroom. Google Classroom is our school's digital platform for learning. Teachers will use this to communicate with both students and with parents on upcoming announcements, assignments, newsletters, and basically anything that your child needs to know in order to be successful in that class. Before you get started, you need to know how to log in your child to any device. Their password and username is unique to their name and student ID number. Every student at Rowlett has an RMA Gmail account and their password is their student ID number. If you don't have this information, please contact one of your child's teachers to ask for them to send you their Gmail information. The first thing you want to do is log in to Google Chrome, the browser in your device. And you want to type in google.com into your web bar. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your child is logged in here. If you're using a personal device at home, you may have another account logged in, or you may be logged in as a personal account versus a school account. You wanna make sure that they click on sign in to enter a new user with their RMA Gmail credentials. This is where they will enter their Rowlett Gmail account. Click next and enter their password, which will be their student ID number. After clicking next, you should see that your child is logged in. You will either see a picture that they have created for themselves as a badge or icon, or you will see their initials appear here if they are successfully signed in. Once you log in to Google, you will see a little waffle or Rubik's Cube here, and that will show you all of the different Google products that are available to your student in Google Suite. The one that we're going to focus on today is Google Classroom. The icon looks like a green chalkboard with some people on it. Once you click into Google Classroom, there will be lots of different um, applications that your child will use. They will have access to Gmail, Docs, a Google Drive that has unlimited storage, slides, sheets, forms, and many, many more. So to navigate within Google Classroom, you would click on that Google Classroom icon. There you're going to view all of the different Google Classrooms that your child has joined this year. You want to click on a specific class to see what assignments have been posted. Once you select a class, there are some things we need to discuss. To access the menu of classes, you would click on these three bars. This will tell you the class you are currently viewing. And then these three buttons, Stream, Classwork, and People, those can be either found at the top of your screen or at the bottom of your screen. It depends on what device you're logging in with. On a laptop or a desktop computer, you would see them across the top banner. If you are logging in with an iPad or a phone, you would see them across the bottom as a banner. The stream is like the home page, and this home page will let you know of any upcoming assignments. It will also have posts here regarding material that you might need for an assignment. The one you're most interested in, though, is this one here. Number four is your classwork tab. This is where all of the assignments and checklists are posted. This is the work that your child will need to complete and turn in. 
Over here on the People tab, your child will be able to email their teacher directly. The waffle will take you back to any of the applications that we mentioned before. Make sure here you see the badge or the initials that indicate that you are logged in as yourself and not someone else. Upcoming assignments are important because it gives you a snapshot of what's coming up. And then these are just updates on your stream from your teacher. Let's dive into that classwork tab a little bit deeper. Okay, the classwork tab will allow you to view your work and your grades, check on due dates in a Google Calendar, and access your Google Drive folder. This is where assignments can be edited and uploaded to the assignment. There will be topics here laid out for you by unit of study, and they should be dated so you can tell what you need to be working on and when. Notice over here, it tells you the due date of any assignment posted. It will tell you if it has been assigned or if it is missing. If it's showing up as missing, that means that your teacher has graded this assignment and it was not turned in. Over here on the side, you will see all of the topics in that Google Classroom. If you click on any topic, it should take you directly to that section of the Classwork tab. Google Calendar is a really nice function to use when you're in Google Classroom because it can show you all assignments that are past due, currently due, and upcoming. Google Classroom can be accessed anywhere, anytime, as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection. You do not need an Apple product to access Google Classroom or Google Suite. Your child can work on an Android or any tablet, any desktop. As long as you have access to the internet, you can type in www.google.com, sign in with your RMA Gmail. You do not need an app but they are available. Some students prefer to download this Google app onto their iPad or their personal tablet or phone so they can access their assignments anywhere, anytime. If you have any questions about how to navigate Google Classroom, Attention, teachers. 